Hello there, my fellow chapter bros, and welcome back to Warhammer Humor. The place where we add a couple of humor bits to some Warhammer topics to hopefully lighten your daily load. Today we're gonna change things up a bit as we're gonna make our very first Warhammer funny on a Loyalist Legion. Up to this point we just made fun of the traitors, and now it is finally the turn of the Loyalists. And what greater and cooler loyalists to bring on than the Salamander's Legion. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? The Salamanders are one of the original loyal Space Marine Legions of Warhammer 40k. Number 18 to be precise. They are a very notable and quite popular chapter for a couple of good reasons. First, they are known for their love of flamer and melta weaponry, preference for brutal close quarters combat, and their pitch black skin color as a testament to their volcanic world, Nocturne. They are also probably the closest we got to an African themed space marine legion as far as the legions go. Secondly, and maybe more profoundly, they are the closest thing that this messed up galaxy of 40k has to actual heroes. They are well known for being very nice guys with a code of honor. Matters are also improved by the existence of their Primarch, Vulcan, who is very likely the coolest, friendliest and most badass guy you're ever gonna meet. All of that on top of being very humble, at least for a demigod. The Salamanders are a space marine chapter based on the death world of Nocturne. Nocturne is a volcanic planet with some really ridiculous shifting gravity. As such, the people developed a very slow and methodical approach to life, coupled with a healthy respect for fire. The Salamanders do have somewhat slower reaction speeds than other space marines, although still much faster than a human. In the lore it is said that this is a result of the salamanders being almost universally cautious and very methodical in their thinking, as opposed to being a gene seed malfunction. The planet's only reason for continued settlement is its very rich mineral deposits, making metalworking a very important profession to the point of bordering an actual cult. The traits of the population do carry over to the salamanders themselves who are known among other things for fielding tough, hard to break units and for giving every man and their servo skull a flamer and a melta gun. They are also known for making their own equipment, with each man held responsible for creating and maintaining his own war gear. They do import a couple of things that they cannot produce on their own world directly from the Adeptus Mechanicus who does indeed like them a lot more than those other assholes who use up all the ammunition on their drills and practice fights. The rest of the war gear is made by the chapter artificers and tech marines, and they do produce some of the best armor and weapons of any space marine chapter. The end result is that each space marine is equipped with almost mastercrafted weapons and wear near artificer level power armor. For comparison, their Artificer armor is almost as good as Terminator armor. Despite the relative stability and purity of their gene seed, the Salamanders have no official successors. There are a couple of chapters, namely the Storm Giants and the Black Dragons, who everyone thinks are successor chapters of theirs, but those are just rumors, and the Salamanders have no kinship with either one. The official reason for that is that the Salamanders did not take part in the second founding. They were never a big legion to begin with, and they were even less big after the massacre on Istvan V. When good old rowboat Gilliman decided to split the legions, the Salamanders were actually exempted from splitting, mostly because by that point there wasn't much to split. Also, in subsequent foundings they were either passed over in favor of chapters with a lot more genesy to spare, or their AirTag's descendant chapters were made much later, but without their knowledge or involvement. Do keep in mind that all Space Marine chapters are required to tithe a bit of their genesy periodically to the Adeptus Mechanicus. Or, although this is a bit of a conspiracy theory, 
The Salamanders and Vulcan were so trusted that they were allowed to rebuild as a legion and operate with tens of thousands of space marines. But being so noble and beloved by the Imperium, the High Lords of Terra simply looked the other way. At the end of the day, their exemption to splitting into chapters never ended. So technically they can still be a legion if they actually wanted. Unfortunately, because Master Offer Nick Kime doesn't let anyone near them, and hasn't written much about them in the last few years, the lore of the Salamanders is kinda stuck in limbo. Outside of their main trilogy, we know next to nothing about what they have been up to in the last years of the 41st millennium. This is rather sad really, because they are the one chapter we like to see more of, and we definitely wanted to see them kicking ass during the 13th Black Crusade. But it seems no one in the galaxy can be bothered to know where they are. The Salamanders as a legion and a chapter are maybe the most bro tier of all other chapters. With the Lamenters, the Space Wolves and the Celestial Lions coming in close behind them. Unlike other chapters, the Salamanders do maintain close ties with their civilian population and with the individual families of the Space Marines themselves. This will give them in turn a very human connection with the non-augmented people they are supposed to be protecting. These ties are so strong that some Space Marines actually live with their former families, at least when off duty. They regularly act in thankless rearguard and civilian defense actions as seen in the War for Armageddon. And rather than spend their time in their awesome Orbital Fortress Monastery, they hang out on the planet's surface, chilling with the locals. Many actually live normal lives among the people as chieftains, teachers, guardians, blacksmiths and more. Some even wander the planet's surface as hermits when not on active duty. In terms of tactics, the Salamanders are one of the simpler and most straightforward chapters. The number of heat-based weapons that they field can be disturbing though, as is a certain character of theirs who can make all of these weapons twin-linked, and another that makes all their melt-attacked guns mastercrafted. The fact that each warrior maintains and repairs their own armor ensures that their chapter artificers can be free to make some really awesome stuff. They field almost exclusively treaded vehicles, as the gravitic antics of Nocturne's moon Prometheus tends to cause anti-graph plating to freak the hell out. Maybe that's why the Tau have never invaded Nocturne. Their gene seed gives them an abnormally hardy constitution, even for a space marine. They are much more resistant to radiation and cellular damage than other space marine chapters. Even their eyes are said to be able to sense heat to some degree, similar to infrared vision. The daily rituals of the Salamanders take noticeably longer than other chapters due to their nocturnian pragmatism. 11 AM Morning Prayer The Salamanders are roused to begin the day with a few litanies from the Promethean cult. All the Battle Brothers worship only by the pilot lights of their flamers. 1 PM Morning Firing Rituals The Salamanders practice their firing skills, usually using flamers and meltaguns instead of bolters though. The chapter serfs often have to put out the fires that the Salamanders inadvertently and inevitably cause. 3 PM Battle Practice The Salamanders descend to their practice cages. The cages have usually been repaired from all the burn damage from the previous day by that point. Any tyranids that happen to be part of the battle exercise will usually be part of the next meal. 6 PM Hammer Time The Salamanders take to the maintenance of their war gear while also making new weapons and armor. The Adeptus Mechanicus often drools, wishing they could be as good as them. 8 PM Midday meal. A light meal is prepared by the chapter serves and is consumed. Carolina peppers are usually a component of the meal, but for special occasions when guests from outside the chapter are invited, they only use ghost peppers. 9 PM. Pimping of the rides. The rhinos, land raiders and predators are pimped out with a lot of bling, 
preferably flame-like components as they attract the most girls. 10 p.m. Afternoon Firing Rituals The salamanders again take to practicing their firing skills, and again they use only flamers and meltaguns instead of bolters. This time though they are more careful, so they don't give the civilians more work than necessary. Midnight Evening Meal A feast is prepared by the chapter serfs and consumed. The meal usually consists of an ancient Terran fruit called watermelon and the helping of a flightless avian animal, fried to a crisp according to a legendary ritual dating back to the Dark Age of Technology. Beverages usually consist of an ancient Terran form of malt liquor called Old English. On very special occasions they may even break out an ancient carbonated drink referred to as Crystal. 1 AM Free Time The salamanders are given some free time from their duties. Some just reflect on their duty to the Emperor. Others go on and commune with the folks of the sanctuary cities of Nocturne, or compulsively build new suits of armor. 4 AM Lights Out the salamanders retire for the evening, but before they go to bed they share a manly tear for the Lamenters chapter. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Salamanders Legion from a funnier perspective for today. Definitely the greatest bros among all the Space Marines, alongside whom I would fight over almost any other chapter. What are your thoughts on the Salamanders though? Are they among your favorite legions slash chapters? What do you like or dislike most about them? In my opinion there is a lot to like either way. Also this video was made for humorous purposes so definitely don't take it too seriously. In case you did find it entertaining or amusing, please click the like, share and subscribe buttons for future content. Thanks a lot for watching and I wish you all a great and healthy day. The Emperor protects.